Hey everyone, welcome back to Out Everyday Living. We're going to be doing a little bit of a run to the scrapyard. I'm talking not just a little bit, I'm talking about a fair bit. Um, we've got a small bit of an IBC pot on the bottom and a full one up top. Also one at the back there. Uh, we've got motorbikes, TVs, all sorts of stuff in that. Uh, that's on this side. Around here we have oh, microwave there. There's I think there's another microwave up top. More TVs, bed frames, that sort of thing on the trailer. I'm estimating about a bit over a ton, thousand kilos. Uh, on the vehicle we've got a whole heap of push bikes and scrap metal that we've picked up just in the week. Um, on this side, even an old recliner chair that's been burnt. I done a household cleanup, pick that up, same as all of this other stuff that's on this side. Um, on the other side, we'll just jump over the goose neck of the trailer. Over here, more push bikes, mower. Yeah, we got it all on there. I don't think there's much in weight on the vehicle, but we won't know until we actually get there. So until we get to the scrapyard, sit back, relax, enjoy the intro. Use the excavator today. Get on here and see how much we weigh. Done a tide coming here too. So there's another two hundred dollar dollars that I don't know. Got a counter for. How you going, mate? Yeah, I'm lighter this time. Four point four two. Let's get this untied so we can start. Let's hope nothing falls off. Probably will. That lawnmower up there might fall off. Oh, you got that there? No, that's the lawnmower falling. <laughs> Damn. That'll be the first thing off. I'm glad I parked this way. One more strap and it'll probably fall off itself. Gonna go pop. Yeah, she's slowly going off. I'm hanging on to it. It's on the ground. into there shouldn't have anything else fall off let's hope it won't matter anyway Straps. 
Better get some new ones, I reckon. There we go. That's a go. Throw that over. Do, 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 do. Well, we definitely made it fall off, didn't we? How's this going here? What's going on here? There we go, there we go. Sit them down in front. That one can go straight in the vehicle actually. Worry about him later. Grab these out while I'm here. Don't know how we're gonna do that, but anyway, we'll work it out as we go, I suppose. Ooh, crunch, crunch, crunch. Something going crunch behind me. Oh, he's putting more crap in there. Right. We're filling it up. So we don't know how I'm going to do that. But we'll work it out as we go. I loaded that with a uh, front end loader actually. Do, 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 do. Whoops, swinging that thing around. This other side so we can get into it. Yeah, so I don't know how we're going to get that off because I put that up there with a front end loader uh, and that reaches fairly high. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I got that arsenal shit there anyway if we need it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, let's 
make sure I hit the camera. Hit the camera. Might just chuck it in the front. Pile them up. Sword man later. Like I always do. It's amazing what happens. Oops. Go. Got one strap left on the trailer, I think. On the far side. Yeah, here it is. Here. There you go, open that gate there, mate. Up me hand. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> Get that off there, I'll be right. There we go. I don't fit. Where do you want everything? I'm fine to walk over there, am I or not? Be careful, yeah. Go, yeah, well, that's the thing, mate. I've got to look at the safety factor. <laughs> He's still on these provisionals. <laughs> That's full again. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> oh, dear, that bloody stick. We'll stand clear of that stuff. Try just take it the best I could. At least I'm not as heavy as I always are. Yeah, I've done well this time, eh? The only downside is I've done a passenger bloody drive tire. Oh. Coming here, yeah. She's totally knackered. Sidewall gone the whole lot, she was smoking. Right. <laughs> and I thought I'd park this way, that way he's not carrying it over the cab. Yeah. More safer. I'm not worried about trailer. Trailer's easier to replace. That old vehicle, she not. <laughs> I've had it for 13 years. And it hasn't even done 200,000 Ks yet. So it's done well. 
you should be able to get that one out, no problems. Once we get this crap out, because yep. I put it in the way we usually do. Well, I don't know where you're going to put that. And we got all these TVs and stuff. Well, I might put that one on the Forbes. Um, yeah. It'll stack all the TVs so I can tip them. Yeah, yeah. Great. Right. Might as well put all that stuff up there. Yeah? yeah? Oh god, this is a heavy one, this one. I recovered what I could out of it anyway. There's actually a fair bit, like you got your gold flaked uh, bar across the bottom. See on this one here, see how you got all these strips yeah, okay. there? There's a, a circuit board that goes right across. There's two of them on yep. that one. And you cut that off and it's got gold flakes on that circuit board. Yeah, right. I'm not bringing them in though. No. <laughs> Cause you're not a, you don't deal with the, no. the circuit boards or nothing. No. Oh, what are we caught on? You got those? Sweet. Yeah. No one likes to do exercise. Hey. No one likes to do exercise. I uh, get that one first and then we got room to get in there to stand up there mate. That's my suggestion. Yeah you got it right there. Lift him up. Yeah, lifting the front one too now. Yeah, go out at that. And get yourself a second, second grip when you get it on the ground.
hope it doesn't bust that one see that deck there don't need it at the moment Got me vehicle! Taking me vehicle! <laughs> ooh, 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 put a hole in it! Put a hole in it! Lock her up, mate. Go forward and then, or whichever way you want to do it. Side shift it and go back. I'll carry it off if you like. Right, I don't know how we're going to work this out. I think may. Nah, drag it back. We might be able to drag both them back. Yeah. Because that's on a plastic pallet. I screwed it to it. So that way we can lift the top one off. Because you won't get in there otherwise. Dropping up board? Uh, well, you won't reach it. Yeah. So if we drag the bottom one with the top. Come right in. Oh dear. Get down under the ear. I just gotta find somewhere to hook it. Ah, uh, yeah, next question. <laughs> Not really. Oh yeah, around there. Somehow. Close him up. Whoop. Oh, that'll go behind it. Yeah, keep going. Keep going? Yeah. It's only a thin strap. That's it. Yep, just drag it back at that. See how you go. Here you go. Yep. Come in at that angle and or whatever we want to do. Come forward. Open up. Whoop. You get the, you may get the top one. May.
you might have to do a, a, a tilt like that to get it <laughs> a rotate and tilt your fork down good now go up go in slowly I'll guide you in so go up and rotate go up and rotate keep going up 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 Whoop. go up a bit more Right, try and go in there and, and tilt down at the same time. Just a smidget. Yeah, push it in, push it in, push it in, push it in, push it in. Keep going, keep going, lift up. Yeah, you're going to take the bottom one too. <laughs> there you go. Need all this arsenal after all, just one strap. the rest of this by hand by the looks of it. He's alright back there, so that's fine. He's not going anywhere. He's on his idle. Humidity's high, very high. Oh yeah, that's too, yeah. Well, we can turn that around anyway. Oh, that's a narrow one, isn't it? It's a narrow one. Uh, all the way, all the way around. So even if you just grab it with one, it's not that heavy. Yep. It's only got inner springs in it, that's all it's in. A couple of TVs. We've got it all, looks like it. A couple of nuts and bolts, don't want to lose them on the road. See, that's just unloaded. Should be good enough. Let's see what we're going to get out of this lot. Two point six four. Well, I reckon that's the lightest I've ever taken in. But anyway, we'll get down to the formalities. What we got? how much we weighed. So we took in 1,780 1, kilos at 28 cents a kilo. So we came home with $480.40. But then they take the waste levy out, which is only a tax. The I look at it as this way, the, the waste levy, it's an incentive to bring more in. Um, so yeah, we actually came home with $430.78 in our hand. 
uh, they take out the waste levy. It's like, a, I call it a tax, but it's actually not a tax. So with it not being a tax, um, it's just, you know, how you get all your plastics and that sort of thing. That's why they class it as a waste levy. But now I don't mind it. You know, you've got a lot of plastics and that sort of thing. There's some stuff there that they've got to sort it out and they do sort it out. They put it through a shredder and that's how they deal with it. So anyway, I hope that explains the waste levy. Um, that a lot of, I do know there's a few people on YouTube that don't explain the waste levy. The waste levy is basically for all your plastics. So you can have a bit of plastic in with your pressing steel. Um, that's the way I look at it. But anyway, if you've come this far in this video, don't forget to smash that like button. It does help that channel out. So if, until next time, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.